So this is the beginning of uh, working in the eyepiece. I just have a review for a few minutes about the eyes. No, it's okay. It's okay. It would be so bright. Um, so here we've got a uh, transport layer. This is just a review, okay? Just for five minutes, I will review all the slides. We are in transport layer. We've got a uh, network data layer and application layer from the upper side. So uh, uh, they are um, they're not depending on each other when they're working, okay? So this is the transport layer. Um, we've got uh, devices to communicate, so both of them are uh, using the same protocol, as you can see, is TCP IP. We are not on the application layer, and we are not, as I said, we are not in application layer, we are in transport layer. So, uh, move data between application and devices in the network. So, we are going to decide whether we are using TCP or UDP here. <coughs> so, as I said before, uh, on the left side, you will see the UDP items, on the right side, TCP items. Uh, as you can see in UDP, um, it's got fast connection with low overhead. Acknowledgement doesn't uh, respond. I, uh, sorry, doesn't require acknowledgement. Doesn't respond lost data and deliver data as it arrives. So these are the features of the UDP, as you know. And here is the features for the TCP. It is reliable. We've got acknowledged data, and we uh, resend the lost data, and we also deliver data in the order that we send them. So this is the difference between UDP and TCP. For example, you've got IP telephony, you've got stream deals. For the TCP, you've got SNTP and POM3 and HTTP. So this is just a review. I just want to make it clear again for you. As you can see, this is the difference between TCP and UDP. So the size is, as you know, 21 by 20 bytes. Here we've got 8 bytes. There are some same items, the same as source port, destination, length, checksum, and application segments. But in here we've got source port, destination, the same, and also checksum is the same. And the segment is the same, but we also got a sequence number, acknowledgement number, header length, window, and things like that. So that's the difference between the size of the segments and also the headers for TCP and UDP. As you can remember, I've told you about the ports. For example, uh, when you're sending, uh, when you're going to download the email, you're using port 110 for HTTP port number 80, for instant messaging it is 531, you can understand the difference. As I said, it's like a window for a building, so, or it's the name of the room or something like that, so you can imagine that you can call it system with the same port. So. Here we uh, divide each uh, each, here we've got frame you're dividing it into some pieces, UDP or TCP, it is the same. So we divide it into three items and we're going to send it. We've got the source and we've got destination and there are some items in here. So you can remember all these items, you should actually remember. Uh, the picture for the TCP seg segment header files, header fields. We are calling a computer with your source port, as I said, this is the temporary port that your operating system will generate it for you. As you can remember, on, the, on this layer, the operating system is in charge of things. So, operating system will generate source port. It is temporary, then you're calling someone. Then, you can remember that I told you, it's like envelope, that you're changing the to and from address. So, you remember that. Yes. So this is how to terminate a uh, session, as you know, send FIN, receive FIN, send acknowledge, acknowledge, receive, send IF, uh, FIN, FIF, FIN, receive, and send acknowledge, and acknowledge, receive, so this is the termination. So, you know, in TCP mode, there are lots of messaging systems to, for termination. Finish. Finish. Termination. So this is how the 
TCP connection to net. So as you can see, there are lots of messages, there are lots of signals in TCP, but it's not the same in UDP. You can remember that I've told you that you're sending a document, your, your system in the transport layer could use different routers to route you from somewhere to somewhere. So it would be different than the order that you send in the file, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, but when you send it, it's going to be one, two, six, five, I don't know, four, three, something like that. So uh, the system is again re reordered for you. This one is, as you can, as you know, as, as you can remember, it's for TCP, not for UDP. In UDP, we don't have this procedure, you know that. In here, I told you about the source port, destination port, sequence, and acknowledge. So you're going to send 10 bytes, sequence 1, acknowledge 1. Send it. Then, if it receives all 10, it would be sequence 1, acknowledge 11. I receive all of them, and it will be again. 11 acknowledge 1, so start transmitting after 11. So this is the procedure that we're going to send, uh, I don't know, information in TCP. So, we were here, right? So, you, you remember this frame. I'm sending with the size 3000. I just divided in two parts, 100. Um, Windows size 3000 in the first. Sorry. Window size means I, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm just reviewing it because you were absent, so that's why. You know.